Good morning, Year One. Welcome to Monday's Maths. Uh, so today we're going to think about representing numbers. But before we do that, we've got our review phase as usual, and we are thinking back to Thursday when we last did um, a maths lesson like this, and we were looking at tens and ones, weren't we? And we had part whole models, in which you were drawing in your books, and you're choosing a whole to go in the whole circle, and then you were using deans to um, represent the tens and the ones in that number. Now. I was getting our review phase ready today and I've written the whole is 24. 24 has four tens and two ones and I was ready to teach it to you and then I thought am I right? Is Miss Adams correct? So I'm wondering can you look at my part whole model, my tens and my ones and can you look at the stem sentence I've written? Am I correct with the number of tens and ones in the number 24? I need you to have a little think about it. You don't need to write anything down. You engage in some conversation at home or at school. So please pause the video now to do that. Well done, you. And I wonder if anybody spotted my mistake. I'm sure you all did, didn't you? So my whole is 24. But I've said that 24 has four tens and two ones. I've got four ten sticks and I've got two ones. So if I count those in my tens and ones, Am I going to get 24? I don't think I am. Shall we count them in, my, in our tens and ones? Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. Oh no, something's gone wrong. What have I done? I've got my tens and my ones muddled up, haven't I? Because the number that I've represented in this uh, part whole model is 42. Four tens and two ones. I'm going to move those over here because that's not representing 24, is it? So now, how many tens and how many ones do I need to represent 24? Can you pause the video and tell you who someone is at home with you? Well done. I need two tens. And I need four ones. I've got it just the wrong way round, haven't I? So I need to make sure I always double check to make sure that I've got the correct amount of tens and ones. So can you count now with me in my tens and ones in your tens and ones again and see if we've got 24 ready? 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24. Amazing. So I've changed my part whole model, but I haven't changed my stem sentence. My stem sentence still says 24 has four tens and two ones. So I need to change that. 24 has two tens and four ones. So I wonder what was the stem sentence for this number then? 42. What would my stem sentence be? I wonder if you can say it out loud. 42 has how many tens? Four tens and how many ones? Two ones. Amazing, that's why it's always good to double check those tens and ones to make sure you've got them the right way around because now you can see 24. And we talk about how the first number represents the tens and we've got two tens and that makes 20 and how the second number represents the ones. So I wanted to make sure I got it the right way around. Well done for spotting my mistake here one. So for today's learning, I've put a worksheet on Class Dojo just in case uh, you've got a printer that you can use at home as it's quite a lot of representations today, which might be a little bit tricky to write or draw. So I just wanted to make it easier for you if you have a printer. And if you don't, don't worry, you can still complete this. You'll just need to do a bit more writing or you might need to ask somebody at home to help you with the writing. OK, so if you uh, have got a printer, you can head to Class Dojo, print it out and then come back to me. And if not, I will talk you through it anyway. OK, brilliant. So our first explore question today. We're thinking about matching the numbers. So I've got three columns. In my first column, I have got the numerals. That is the number. The numerals here, I've got the tens and ones. So the number is written by how many tens and how many ones it's got. In the third column, I've got the word. So we've, we've seen uh, numbers written in word form lots of times, haven't we? So our job is to match up each one of these so it's the same number because at the moment, they're not all uh, the same number, are they? So if we look at the first one, in, so we want to get them to match up. And if we looked across in the row, this is the number 12. But then next to it, it says tens and ones, two tens and seven ones. Does 12 have two tens and seven ones? 
No, so it's not matching. So we want to match it up to the correct one, okay? So let's go back to number 12. We know it's not two tens and seven ones. Next one, one, ten, two ones. Is that correct for the number 12? Well, let's have a look. One, ten, two ones. Yes, that one is correct. So I'm going to get a line. I'm going to match that one up. So 12 and one, ten, and two ones. But I'm not done because now I want to find the word that says 12, okay? So I wonder if you can point on your screen to which one you think says 12. Remember, we talk about how often the numbers are quite tricky words. Brilliant. It's this one here, 12, 12, 12, okay? Next number is what? What number have I got here? 23 okay so I'm going to look at my tens and ones again. I know it's not this middle one because I've done that one already I'm going to look at the first one two tens yep it's definitely got two tens seven ones oh no I've not got seven ones here have I wonder how many ones I have got how many have I got let's look at this second one two tens yep three ones is that correct yes two tens and three ones it's another way to show the number 23 Okay, now I want to find the word. So let's have a look. I've got two left. 23. Is that the correct one? Amazing. Well done. Okay, and finally, I've got the number what? Tell me what number I've got. I've got 27. So I want to match up now. I've only got two left. So I want to double check just in case it's wrong. So 27. Two tens. Yep. Seven ones, yep, so that's the correct uh, representation of 27. And then let's have a look at the word 27, yeah, matched it up, okay? So can you see here one, how these are different ways of showing the same number? You can represent numbers in many different ways, okay? So your first job this morning is, this is question one. So if you've printed out the worksheet, it's question one of the worksheet, and if not, you can write down uh, these, this kind of table. You might want to ask a grown-up at home to help you write them down, or you might have a go yourself so you can make them into a table. And then I want you to do the same as me, match them up uh, just like I did on the last one, okay? So please pause the video now and have a go at matching them up. Well done, year one. Okay, so let's have a look. First one, I've got the number 19. So I'm looking for one that says 110, and nine ones. So let's have a look. Three tens, two ones. No. Three tens, five ones. No. One ten, nine ones. There we go. Perfect. Okay, next one. 32. I'm looking for how many tens? Three tens and how many ones? Two ones. Brilliant. Three tens, two ones. There it is. It's amazing. Okay, next one I've got three tens and five ones. Is that what this last one says? Yep, three tens, five ones. Amazing. Okay, now we want to match up um, with the word as well. Okay, so three tens, two ones was the number 32. So which one do you think says 32? Well, hopefully you've drawn your line to this one here, 32. Three tens, five ones is the number 35. So I'm looking, which other one's got 30 in it? Yep, this one here, 30. Five. Can you see that the word five is an IE split digraph? And one ten nine one. That's number nineteen. And number nine is also an IE split digraph. And nineteen nineteen. Amazing. Oh, my line didn't work then. Superstar. So well done for question one. Right. Our next explore question it says which picture representation show this number here? So this number is written in words. So I wonder, can you read what that word is? I'm going to put my sound buttons on to help me. T -e -t -e. Remember this Y can make an E or an I sound, and in this case it makes an E sound. What number? 23. Okay, so a couple of these, so there's six different representations on the screen. A couple of them show 23, not all of them. I wonder if on your um, screen you can point to the ones that represent 23, okay? So pause the video now to do that. Brilliant, well done, year one. So let's have a look at the first one. Well, this is another set of words. You wouldn't think it'd be the same one, would it? So let's have a look, 32. Two's a tricky one, isn't it? You can't sound that one out, but you can sound that 30. 32, well, it's not that because we know it's 23. Oh, look here, what number have I got? 
two tens and three ones, I've got 23. So this one shows the number 23. So I'm going to circle that one. Okay, I've got some tens frames here. I'm going to count in my tens and ones because can you see there's some full tens frames? Let's count in our tens and ones. Can you do it with me? 10, 20, 30. I switch to the ones. 31, 32. Is that my number 23? No. Okay, let's look at the next one. We've got another set of tens frames. Again, I've got some full ones, so let's count in our tens and ones. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Is that showing me 23? No, okay, not that one. Right, this one's saying 20, but what can you notice about this word? 25, i.e. split digraph. So it's not that one, not 25. Okay, let's have a look. Now these uh, sticks here, they're in groups of 10. And there's some ones here, okay? So let's count in our tens and ones, ready? 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. So is that showing my number 23? Yes, it is, well done. So there are two representations that are showing 23. So well done if you got both of those. So your question two is uh, the same as what we've just done, but with, with a different number, okay? So it's on your worksheet or you can uh, just draw the ones that are showing this number. And the number is, four tens and seven ones. So what number is that? Four tens and seven ones. I'm gonna write it like this, 47. Okay, so you need to have a look and see which ones are representing the number 47. So if you've got the worksheet, you can circle them. And if you've not got the worksheet, you can just draw the ones that are representing 47. Okay, so please pause the video now to do that. Well done, so let's have a look at this one. Okay, so let's put my sound buttons on this word again to help me. So I've got f or t e 40. Oh, well, definitely 40. Has it got 47 like I was saying? Or f i five. No, 45. That's not showing us 47, but we we're close. Same amount of tens. Okay, what about this one? How many tens? Four, four tens, 40 something. Is it the same? No, 43. So 43 has got four tens and three ones, not seven ones. Okay, it's not that one. Right, let's count in our tens and ones again for this question. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. Again, the right amount of tens, but not the right amount of ones. These two match, don't they? But it doesn't match the number we're looking for. Okay, let's have a look at this one. And remember, these are tens and ones as well. Let's count them with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Yes, four tens and seven ones. That's the number that we're looking for. Okay, count these ones in our tens and ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. No, they've all got four tens, but not the same uh, ones as us. Again, we know this one now, 47, 47. So that one is showing us the same number as four tens and seven ones. Amazing, well done, new one. Okay, so final explore page. We've got a table here, and it's similar to the last one. This one's got uh, number, tens and ones, 10 frame and base 10, okay, so it's going to involve some drawing. So this is the number that we're looking at first. I want to know how many tens and ones it's got, which draw on 10 frames, and I want to check the base 10 is correct, okay? So my number is what? 26. So how many tens and how many ones in 26? Two tens and six ones. Okay, so I want to draw some tens rooms now. So this is going to be a little bit tricky for me, especially on my mouse. So if you don't have the worksheet at home, watch how I draw my tens rooms and I'm just ready for when you're going to do yours, okay? So how many full tens rooms do I want? Look at my tens number to help me with that. I want two full tens rooms. I'm just going to try my best at drawing the tens rooms. So I want to have uh, two columns. I'm going to draw a line down the middle and I want to draw four lines. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I'm going to draw another tens frame so I can make them both full. Do it in the same way. One, two, 
three, four. Okay, now I'm going to fill those tens frames up so that I've got my two tens. Let's do it in mind. Okay, so I've got my two full tens frames representing my two tens, which are my 20. I need one more tens frame, which is not going to be full. I'm going to draw that one quickly. And how many ones am I going to represent in this not full tens frame? I'm going to have six ones. Well done. So this is not my best tens frame, but I'm trying to do it nice and quickly. So hopefully yours will look a bit better than mine. So I want six ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now if I double check, I've got 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26. Amazing, my number 26. Okay, and then this time we've got 19. How many tens and how many ones in 19? Have a look at the number. One ten, there's a clue here because there's no s on the end of ten, so it's just one ten. How many ones? Nine ones. Okay, and this time I need to draw the base ten, the deans. Okay, so it's easy, a bit easier this one for me. So how many 10 sticks do I need to draw? Only one. And then how many ones do I need to draw? Have a look at the one. I need to draw nine ones, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Amazing. Okay, so now I've represented 19 with 1, 10, and 9 ones. Fantastic. Okay, so your final question, question three, is another one of those tables. Okay, so here we've got the number, tens and ones, tens frame and base 10. Okay, so please could you pause the video now and fill in the gaps on this table. You might need to draw it out if you've not got the worksheet. Okay, so please pause the video now to do that. Amazing. Great job, year one. So I've just filled in the numbers. So 38 was the missing number here, three tens and eight ones. Then the missing number in this one was 17, one ten and seven ones. And then here I've got the number 49, so my missing numbers were four tens, nine ones. And I've also drawn four tens and nine ones. Amazing, great job. So finally, I'm going to leave you with a maths challenge, a reasoning question. So Whitney says, I have two tens and 14 ones. How many straws does Whitney have? Okay, so I want you to have a good think about that question. I think is there another way she could say what number she's got and you can uh, record a video of you explaining the reasoning that and lots of children have done that already which is really amazing or you can have a go at writing down your thinking okay so great job with your uh representing numbers today you learn lots of work on tens and ones and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow for some more maths bye everyone